Okay, we are going to solve problem set 1.1 from crazy book and we are going to solve question number 12 and we are asked these three things so question a is to verify that y is a solution of the ODE then b determine from y the particular solution of the IVP IVP is initial value problem and c graph the solution of the IVP okay now this is the ordinary differential equation and this is the solution of the ODE and then we have this condition of the solution so we have condition of the solution and then this one y of 1 is equal to 4 this is called the initial value problem okay now let's answer the question a first so what it means to verify that y is a solution of the ODE is plug this plug this solution into the ODE so we can get uh, for example if we plug the y multiplied by y prime to the left hand side we will get 4x to the right hand side okay so first because this the solution here is not a simple function we need to do implicit deri implicit derivation yeah. so y squared minus 4x squared is equal to some constant okay now we want to we want we want to take derivative of this function with respect to x so First, the left hand side, I will have 2y. But remember, because we need to derive this with respect to x, we need to multiply this by dy over dx minus, and this is already x, so we don't have to worry about that. So we will have 8x, and this will equal to some constant. No, not constant, constant. Uh, derivative of constant with respect to x we will have zero okay we have this equation now after differentiating so what can we do from here okay now we have this form here so 2y y prime yeah dy over dx is equal to y prime minus 8x is equal to zero so if we look at here y multiplied by y prime okay, this is equal to this one on the left hand side so i want to make this equation with the same form as the ODE okay now i will isolate the y y prime so i will have this or y y prime is equal to 4x and this is the same as the ODE so in conclusion we have verified that y is a solution of the ODE. Okay, now let's do the question B. Find solve the initial condition. So let's let's copy the solution first y squared minus 4x squared is equal to some constant and then y1 is equal to 4 
and then this <coughs> condition the condition is y is larger than zero okay now let's isolate the y so i have y squared is equal to 4 x squared plus c so if we plug one here we will have on the left hand side we have y of 1 squared is equal to 4 this x is 1 so i'll have 1 squared plus some constant and remember that y of 1 is 4 and 4 squared is 16 is equal to 4 4 multiplied by 1 squared, 4 multiplied by 1 is 4, and then plus C. Then, so we'll have C is equal to 12. So we got that the solution is Y squared minus 4X squared is equal to 12 so this is for the question b and now we have one more question question c plot the graph of this one so we need to plot this so what can we use here maybe i just want to use low from alpha again So what was the function again? y squared minus 4x squared is equal to 12. y squared minus 4x squared is equal to 12. And the condition is y is more than 0. Yeah, so I got that. This is the plot. Yeah, this is the plot. So I need to put this into our insert. And that is the plot. Yeah. Is it correct? Okay, y squared minus 4x squared is equal to 12, y is larger than 0. Okay, so this is the plot. Okay, we have solved this problem. Hopefully, it's helped you. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.